Okay. Welcome back to the Motherhood Collective Co. Welcome. Um, Do I look orange on the camera? Are oh. you even in the camera? I. Am you're I? Not, you're not fully. Oh, weird. Let me go reassess. Maybe your shoulders a little. Sorry, cut off. YouTube. Give me a second. The morning of Sunny's birthday party is when I curled my hair. I showered three, washed it three days before. I've showered since then, but I washed it three days before that. I mean, that's so. not that long ago. Well, three days before Sunny's birthday party and Sunny's birthday party. I only wash party's my hair been, every week. I wash once my hair yeah, once a week. And then usually curl it and then I just, it just is what it is. Yeah. This is a, it's, it's on my last leg when I just have it in a ponytail, a low pony. It's and that's like. what I did all day. But then for some reason I got home and I'm like, I look like my hair is wet. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how you brunettes do it. Like when I was blonde, I could go and my hair looked clean every single day. And having mm-hmm. brown hair, I'm like, your hair is greasy by the end of the day after you wash it. Like You just need a good dry shampoo. And I thought I had one, but it does. It's not working. It's oh, not working same. out. And it's aerosol. So maybe I need to get a powder, but. No. Do you use a powder? Uh, use I know. I use Monet oh, okay. dry shampoo. And then I also have like this little root crimper because I have very fine hair. It's like mm-hmm. soft, fine hair and it lays flat on my head. So I have like a little root crimper that after I shower, I root crimp my oh. roots to pull my roots away from my hair. And it like doubles my my clean hair oh, days. that's awesome. Yeah, because they don't that. get oily. They're not yeah. sitting on my head. Well, if I do look orange, I'm trying out um, some <laughs> self-tanner for my brother's wedding. Because I hate my dress. Like, I literally can't stand it. Oh, no. Why? I can say hate when Sunny's not around. When <laughs> Sunny's around, it's like she's the hate police. You can't say hate. You can't say hate, which is fine. But I'm like, I actually loathe. No, it's just like that really. It's like a shiny satin material. And it just is very unforgiving. Yeah. It feels very, like, wrinkly, frumpy. Like, I think when I ordered it, like, not that I've lost a lot of weight, but I feel like I've lost a little bit to the point where it just doesn't fit me quite right. Like, I think I need yeah. to go get it altered. I and feel like those silky satiny dresses are awesome in your 20s. Like, yeah, early like if 20s you have before no babies, babies. Yeah. And no boobs. <laughs> you got like a C section scar and like breastfeeding boobs. Yeah, you can like see everything. Yeah. Like, you could see your stretch marks through that thing. Yeah. On my so. wedding, for my wedding, I just gave the girls a color and told them to go, Same. hey, because like, I didn't even every- give them, I gave them a palette. I was yeah. like, any of these colors, any yeah. price range, Amazon it, whatever. And I'm not yeah. saying people have to no, do that, no, no. but like, it is nice though. It's like. nice because <laughs> everybody's bodies are so different. Mm-hmm. And I am going to be like standing up there with probably 12 girls who are in their 20s, don't have any babies. Yeah, that's hard. It is hard. Oh, I'm sorry. It's that's okay. really hard. That would, I would be feeling the same way. I know. I'm like, so it's not about me. No one's even going to be looking at me. They're all going to be looking no. at Ivana, but, Michael, but you want to feel good. And so I'm like, maybe if I feel tan. Actually, I was, <laughs> I was watching some kind of show. Did it oh. say brown fat's better than white fat? <laughs> oh, a thousand percent it is. <laughs> um, on, so I think it was Selling Sunset. I love that. I love that show. Um, they say something about like, get spray tanned. It'll make you look thinner. And I was like, oh, let's just do some tanning and <laughs> we'll just go from there. So you do some body contouring. <laughs> and it's so bad it's like the least flattering like cut in everything with the shoulders whatever we'll we'll just let it be yeah but it is what it is it is what it is um jesse had a great fun idea for i know we said last episode that we were gonna do our random topic thing but jesse actually found a really fun topic from instagram that yeah. we were gonna do today yeah it was like so random but i don't know if you guys have heard of the moms going around being like these are the things that i just do not care about and some of them are actually so aggressive i meant to like tell you about this but I feel like some of them people are commenting like you're straight up a neglectful mother like some of the things people uh. say but Amanda and I are obviously just kind of like fun and you probably could already guess them about us but and also some of them are opposite of each other so that's also yeah a few of them (laughs) which is fun yeah so you want to go first yeah okay hang on I forgot what I pulled up on my but it's just fun like if you go look up the trend on social media you'll just be like these are things I just do not care about and I feel like most of the time people are you know yeah yeah I do not care about cleaning up my kids messes mm-hmm. 100% don't like I'll, I'll be in I feel like we were in a situation maybe it was like when we had that craft night with all those with all the girls not a craft mm. night we just did like a girls night oh pizza yeah yeah mm-hmm. and I feel like um there was a conversation about how kids pick up their own toys yeah. and and all of that and mm-hmm. I just don't care about that yeah <laughs> Yeah, that's like, a good one. Like, I don't make them work for, you know, I don't know. They, yeah. they know what? We just kind of started implementing, like, in the morning, because he, he legit asked me um, about chores, because in Kids Strong, they're talking about chores mm-hmm. and, like, doing chores. And he's like, Mom, I don't have any chores. I was like, oh, 
you want some? <laughs> he's like, yeah, I want a chore. So he's been making his bed, Aww. which is fine. And also like his Yodo player has like a cleanup um, timer where it sings songs and oh, he fun. found that. So he likes yeah. it and he'll like help me pick up toys. Yeah. But I, I don't, that's not often. Mm. And uh, yeah, I just don't care about that's forcing so that on him. Yeah. We're kind of opposite on that. <laughs> um, I feel like some, I feel like I, yeah, she like clears her own. I make her clear her own dishes as long as it's not glass. Um, I do have Noah do that. Yeah. I do have him bring me his plate. Yeah. She cleans up her own dishes and like it, her toys. Um, or if she wants to like get something out, like say she wants to play with her magnet tiles, but like her tracks are still out. Like she needs to clean mm-hmm. up all the tracks or clean up all the Legos if she wants something else. Um, and she does a living room pickup if I ask her, like, all of the pillows go on the couch. Blankets go over mm-hmm. here. If she wants to change her outfit, was this just get uh, implemented this week? Because I've seen her if you guys have ever had a toddler girl, like you legit change outfits like 40 times a day. Yeah. I am not exaggerating. Lily's every already single, doing it and she's only 15 months old. So <laughs> every single outfit in their closet and in their dresser will get worn mm-hmm. every day. And that is like so adorable and, and precious. And I never want to take that away. But I've told her like, Okay, that's totally fine. Every time you take an outfit out, because it was like, I'm cleaning up her room three times a day and Mm. I'm not exaggerating. And it will look like I haven't for like months at a time. (laughs) So I'm like, okay, so um, you can totally do that. Um, You can put your, I taught her how to hang them back up till Mm. you hang one princess dress up. You get the next one. If you get something out of your drawer, you put it back where it belongs. Um, So we started doing that as well. So I'm like a little bit more yeah cut and dry about tasks like that when I say I'm a busybody, I legit like and I've been paying attention to it over the past week or so um because I told someone I was a busybody, and they're like oh I am too and I don't remember who I was talking to Mm -hmm. it was like my mom or my cousin and I'm like no actually I am and I was (laughs) I like keep track of myself all day long I legitimately and I am not even exaggerating unless I am driving I do not sit down from six o'clock in the morning until I am sitting down to rock Lily to sleep. If she needs to nurse, um, I might sit down. So maybe there's like two or three times where but I'm you taking... enjoy that, right? Yes, like that's yes. Like that's how what I'm operate. saying. That's why I, I don't care about toys because I am like, I am just constantly, <laughs> I'm either doing something with the kids or I'm running outside or I'm cooking or I'm picking mm-hmm. up toys. And that's just kind of what I do. Yeah. So like, I don't think that Noah really has a chance for, right. you know what I mean? Like it doesn't become an issue. Totally. I like totally understand the value yeah. in that. It's just something I don't care about. Yeah. And I also grew up in a family where I was the one that had to clean as mm. a kid. Like my mom was very mentally ill in mm-hmm. bed. My dad worked a lot. And when he wasn't working, totally. he was hunting. So it was like our house was trashed so until I like got sick of it. End. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So now I'm just like, I have to control it totally. all. <laughs> yeah, totally. Um, what was your That's next a one? That's a good one. Or what's yours? Um, I put bedtime routine. Um, okay we're opposite on this too yeah I've never we've never done a bedtime routine never once like if you fall asleep in the car on the way home from an event and you're in your like that's what you're wearing to bed Mm -hmm. you can have a shower if you want don't if you don't want like the only thing we do every night consistently is brush our teeth um but like some nights we do bible stories some nights we do songs some nights like I'm like it's time to go to bed get in your bed (laughs) like some nights we're watching a movie as a family some nights I don't know it's just like it's all so different um and nobody baby included is like married to any sort mm-hmm. of routine so we've always just kind of been like sometimes we're in bed by six sometimes it's eleven thirty, mm-hmm. and it just is what it is and everybody kind of functions really well that way in my family um we don't do very well with schedules in general so um I think having that like flexibility has been really helpful yeah so I'm the flexible one in this in mine and Brady's relationship, which is funny. Which is actually so funny. Because yeah, I am you not are. a flexible person. Right. <laughs> I, I actually thrive in a routine, mm-hmm. but Brady is like down to the minute. Like if I said six o'clock and at six o one, he's like, what, what, what's going on? <laughs> his like brain does not operate. And yeah. I think that's has a lot to do with his anyways. Um, and Noah is very much thrives in routine probably just because I, I feel like the yeah. first kid always takes after mm-hmm. the mom because you spend so much time alone mm-hmm. so Noah we're kind of just getting into like oh we can trade our books for xyz mm-hmm. whatever it is and like last night he was like hey mom because I put um Brady put the bookshelf underneath of our chalkboard in our school mm-hmm. room and I went and dug out all of our Halloween books he's like mom I know or he said these are these are schoolroom books which really I don't care where they are they just were set up there he goes so can we read books in the schoolroom tonight instead Aww. of my bedroom I was like yeah we can so every night we brush teeth or we go potty we brush teeth we read two books we do two scratches and mm-hmm. and then I say good night and mm-hmm. he goes to bed at seven thirty. so we did 
our two books downstairs yeah. and I was like oh like verbatim <laughs> bedtime routine yes yes <laughs> and it's it, with Lily like that kind of was miserable for me when Noah was really young hmm. um so with Lily we've not, not done that she okay. is very on the fly yeah. sleeps wherever like yeah. we had I went um to a friend's house the other day and Lily fell asleep in her car seat. I just brought her in and yeah. her baby's playing all over and Lily's yeah. just snoozing in her car seat right. for like an hour, yeah. which I love. So yeah. I will always do that with my babies, mm-hmm. I think. But I am very excited. Um, at, in a couple of weeks, we're going to transition Lily into, I haven't decided if she's going to be in a bed in her own bed in our room or if she's going to be in her room. Mm-hmm. I haven't made that choice yet. But we are going to get her night weaned and we are going to get her on a little bit more of a routine. And I'm that just makes my heart so happy. <laughs> Like That's it's just oh, I'm gonna I thrive that. in that. <laughs> I love that. What's um, your next one? So yeah. Oh, my next one is. Sorry, excuse me. Um, I don't care about making a second dinner or my kids snacking all day long. Like li- literally, Noah. I, who was I? I was talking to my neighbor mm-hmm. um, not that long ago, and she was laughing because Noah was like, "I need a snack. I need a snack. I need a snack." I'm like, "Okay, good to the snack drawer." She's like, "My kids eat breakfast, snack." dinner snack or breakfast snack lunch snack and then dinner and that's it and I'm just like oh no my mm-hmm. kitchen's just constantly open that's so <laughs> constantly open <laughs> yeah we're we're opposites on that too I'm like you a y- you eat what I'm making or you're not gonna yeah. eat yeah. um and that sounds so aggressive when I say that out loud but that is just kind of <laughs> what it is and it, I guess it's never been a battle because she just is so like not picky yeah, she'll yeah. just genuinely eat whatever I put no one's always had a texture problem right so yeah. I always have a safe food yeah like, so yeah that's you don't like, like this at least try and it makes him really good mm-hmm. at trying things because he knows and understands okay my mom's not going to force me to eat this yeah if he doesn't like the texture of it mm-hmm. and i he will actually try it because yeah. he knows if i say if he says he doesn't like it i trust it yeah you know which is important for him because he right. is i wouldn't say picky but yeah. texture is a thing totally him. and i recognize that can be yeah kind of tricky but um and then we have something called always snacks which means like you can always grab them whenever you want yeah. like um so I guess she's not necessarily asking for a snack, but they're all the fruit. Like, yeah. So bananas, peaches, oranges, apples, anything that's like a fruit, you can have as many as you want mm-hmm. whenever you want. If there's something more limited, like sometimes I buy those like really expensive smoothie pouches mm-hmm. that are like for on the go things um, or like a huge bag of chips or something that's not open. Like that's like ask me snack. So mm-hmm. I'll get it in a bowl for you or I'll, if it needs to be cut, if it needs to be, you know, whatever, something like that it's an ask me snack and then there's always snacks and then um we always have an afternoon treat both of us love treats in the afternoon so we'll have like i will make cookies or we'll just like i don't know just have some kind of treat that's our dessert like after we eat dinner there's Mm -hmm. gonna be a dessert yeah there's not ever gonna not be a dessert yeah we're like less (laughs) we're almost like i think we're more like european like we're less like dessert people and we're more like afternoon like warm drink and some kind of treat so um, yeah, I mean, I'm not going to like get mad about snacks, but I have noticed like when like brave my nephews at our house, I'm like, whoa, you like legit eat snacks all That's day long. Noah. But Which... like his snacks would be, and I used to do this when he was a little kid cause he was just so busy and this mm-hmm. might be a thing with boys versus girls. I don't know. He would never sit down yeah. for a meal and I did not want to force it on him. Yeah. Um, he was just literally, I would have a charcuterie board basically full of nuts and cheeses and fruit yeah. and meats and he would just literally be walking by with a car and grab something. That's just yeah. how, and I always had it on the little table yeah. in the living room so he could eat it all day long. And that is just yeah. how I just think he's so busy. Totally. He's the busiest kid I've ever met in my yeah. life. And to make him stop doing something, yeah. to sit down for food, to sit down in general, <sighs> we're just getting to the point over the last year where he sits, we sit down for dinner. Yeah. Like legit. That's so funny. <laughs> it's yeah. like a first. Yeah. I love that. He's just like, no, can't sit down. I love that. Too busy playing monster trucks. Yeah. Boys and girls are so different. <laughs> they are. Lily will just sit down and just until she's full, which is just such mm-hmm. a foreign concept to me. Okay. Next thing I do not care about. Um, doing my daughter's hair every day and picking out her outfits for her. Mm-hmm. Like, I would say 99% of the time, if you hang out with Sunny and I during the week, um, it's going to be from me, like no makeup, the same t-shirt you've probably seen me in 42 times with like shorts and a messy bun. And for Sunny, like I just, I might brush her hair, but like a lot of the times I'm not really going to do that unless we're going to church. Mm -hmm. She's allowed to wear whatever she wants. Um, And I don't know if it was like necessarily super intentional as much as like I, cause she'll do, she'll let me do her hair if I tell her like I'm going to do your hair. Um, I think I just like don't want her to ever feel like 
you have to look a certain way to go places. You have to be presentable in any kind of mm-hmm. way. Like I want her to feel like she can be a kid, have the messy hair, mm-hmm. wear the princess dresses every day. Like I just want her to feel like she's exactly enough, exactly how she is. Yeah. Um, maybe that's me overcompensating from like my Catholic upbringing because yeah. I feel like with a church and I don't ever want to generalize because like Catholicism can be really like wonderful and beautiful but the church that I specifically grew up in um like you were not welcome if you were not dressed to the nines mm-hmm. and like everything was just like perfect about you and it almost made me feel like I had to come that way before God mm-hmm. you know like I need to get my crap together to present myself to him or else like you know so maybe it's a little bit deeper than I've realized but um yeah, it also makes getting out the house really easy. Yeah, I had quick. one just like that on my list. I said I don't really care if my child's aesthetic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And because I felt like we've had this conversation where I feel like my parents, um, one of the things they did really, really well was they always let me express myself mm-hmm. however I wanted. Yeah, my room, same, yeah. I decorated it and redecorated it and rearranged it and painted it different colors and had the most atrocious, you know, compared to my, you know, the very typical millennial hot pink and purple and bubble cheetah furniture. Stripes, Do you know what I yes. Or like zebra stripes. Yes, yeah, I was same. always more cheetah. But, yeah. and also the, the way we dressed. Like I was always very modest, very, I mean, I say very modest, Compared to my friends, I was very modest. And um, I liked to be dressed really well and be Mm -hmm. presentable. My sister was total goth, Mm -hmm. emo, like to this day, very goth. And we were just very different. Mm -hmm. Um, And I feel like my parents did that well. They let us express ourselves. So with Noah, the second, I mean, very Mm -hmm. much so, he was very neutral bedroom when he was a baby. Mm -hmm. He was always in neutral clothes because he's a baby. He doesn't have any opinions. He doesn't care, so we might as well. Yeah. Yeah. The second he got opinions, I was like, oh, you want a tacky monster truck Mm -hmm. bedroom? I am going to make this as whatever you want it. He picked out all his own stuff. If he wants to wear his red Spider-Man shirt, go for it, kid. Like if he doesn't Mm -hmm. feel like me putting gel in his hair this morning, I'm not going to do it. The only thing I haven't done yet is I haven't gotten him light up shoes. And it's not because I have a thing against light up shoes. It's because he still only wears open toe box shoes that have a flexible sole. I have not. He has legitimately never worn a hard sole shoe yet. Mm -hmm. So once I feel comfortable that his feet are fully developed, Mm -hmm. he's probably going to be in some Spider-Man shoes. Yeah, I don't think actually, like, it's so funny what girls and boys have different opinions about because Sunny um, had almost no opinion about her room other than she wanted it to be pink. Yeah. But oh, no, it was very she has so many opinions about shoes. And (laughs) I don't think I've ever bought her shoes that I actually like, (laughs) like, that I would have chosen. I love, like, what she loves because she loves it, but... Like all of her shoes are light up. All of them are princess. Yeah. All of them are like pink or rainbow or, yeah. you know, like, no, so it's just kind of funny what like they about care about shoes, yeah. but I just haven't, he has very, very wide Flintstone feet, you know yeah. what I mean? And I don't want to squash them. So I yeah. haven't found a good Spider-Man light up shoe yeah. that has a nice natural foot shape. Yeah. I don't know. Did I, did I tell you about how there was that person that like, I felt passively aggressively posted on their Instagram story about like basically like this yes. long rant but one of the things she said was like it's okay if your kids don't have an aesthetically pleasing bedroom yes. and I was like it's also okay if they do yeah because like you just said Sunny didn't have opinions <laughs> yeah. about it I feel like it's like and maybe we should preface this whole conversation with like what we always do it's like yes we're saying these things it's also okay if you do it's also okay if you do care Jesse what your kid and I wears have different opinions about almost everything yes. we're talking like, about it's and okay we're best if, friends yeah so. like it just like it like sp- this conversation just like it kind of reminded me of like that when I, f- yeah. I think I did tell you that. Cause I you was like, did, okay, that made totally felt like that was against me. And it was almost like chalked up to something petty. But I think the point of this conversation is like, everybody cares about different things. Yeah. And like, that's yeah. what makes us like different and cool. Yeah. And we can learn from each other. And yeah. it's even cool. Like how our kids are going to care about things and others don't care about things. And like, if you've listened for more than this episode, you know, our hearts behind all this. It's really just for fun. Don't take yeah. it too seriously. Yeah. It's fine if you love schedules and all of the yes. things like 100%. I always feel the need to say that. Yeah. You never know if we're just getting like a brand new. Yeah. Listener. person. This is their first. Their yeah. first thing. <laughs> okay. I think I just have. Oh, I have two more. How many more do you have? I have two of the five left. Um, I have four. Well, that's oh, weird. That is weird. Why do you have four? Well, I had th- I had one extra, remember? But oh, then okay, okay. Well, we both have one that is the same, and it was um, we're not like super strict about how long our kids watch TV or like yeah. if they watch TV. We have a lot of I have a lot of friends that it's like absolutely no screen time, mm-hmm. which is fine because again, I don't have intuition from the Lord about your kid, and that <laughs> probably is a big deal for mm-hmm. your kid. Um, so like 
over summer it was like a free for all noah mm-hmm. would be like i'm inside i'm watching tv i'm outside pause my show i'm inside i'm watching tv again and it was kind of all day every day whatever he wanted not you know we just constantly have background noise on mm-hmm. with school it's a little more contained because like i have our day planned out which i talked about in our last episode like our mm-hmm. schedule he has blocks of free time or quiet time mm-hmm. and then i legit if he wants to sit there and rot his brain on the mm-hmm. tv for half an hour or an hour i'm gonna let him do it yeah because i want him to have freedom in his day and we say that i say that with a caveat because i also am very mindful of the shows he watches i also don't un- own an ipad i also do not allow youtube in my house yeah. because again if you allow youtube in your house great I have intuition from the Lord that YouTube is not a thing to be mm-hmm. introduced in my house for whatever reason. I'm going to listen to it because mm-hmm. I don't ever want to look back and think, right. I shouldn't have done that. Yeah, totally. <laughs> you know, mm-hmm. but like, I'm not a no TV yeah. human being. I've been like all over the place with TV, as you know, like I, yeah. I feel like it's been like, depending on the season, um, it's something I take away quite frequently depending on like moods and behavior. And then it's something that I reintroduce. And I feel like I'm the same way. She, every single morning with breakfast, can watch Mickey Mouse. Mm -hmm. Like, she loves to do that. Um, And then we always watch something before bed, usually. Mm -hmm. I just like to wind down. Um, And I don't feel, I don't even feel a little bit guilty about it because Mm -hmm. I know how much, and I'm sure you feel the same way, like, I know how much I'm investing when we're not watching TV. I know how much I'm, like how much she's playing and how much she's going outside and how much she's on the move. So to sit down and watch TV, like I really don't care about that. Honestly, same. Like when she has quiet time and she goes upstairs in the afternoon to play in her room, I turn on a show because I love shows. I And I fall asleep on the couch with Ledger sometimes or whatever. So, um, yeah. You know what's fun is that, um, Noah and I have been very into audiobooks. Yeah. Well, I'm always into audiobooks. I I feel like ever since I was a little kid, and I grew up on TV. Like mm-hmm. my parents, I had two working parents. They both worked very late, and TV was our babysitter because mm-hmm. I would go home. Me and my sister would just be there every night, and we would just watch TV until my parents got home. Um, and so like there, I also have the thing in the back of my head like, okay, TV is not going to ruin somebody because at least it didn't for me. So I'm not worried about it. It's not going to solely. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I I also didn't have iPads. I also didn't have social media. I also didn't have YouTube. So those are also things I'm mindful of. But um, I, from a very young age, have just loved escaping Mm -hmm. through either a show or a book. Um, And I've noticed that Noah is kind of the same way. So like after he comes back from his little hybrid homeschool program, that's Mm -hmm. like three hours of solid learning and a little bit more rigorous than probably what he gets at home yeah so he loves to come home and just turn on the show and he's in front of the tv for a good 35 40 minutes before mm-hmm. he's like okay i'm ready to play mm-hmm. um but we've been listening to um have you seen the trailer for wild robot mm-hmm. it's a book like a five hour long book oh, that fun. noah and i have been listening to That's while fun. we're in the car yeah and he just i just watch him and he just sits there and i can just see him building this world in his head while he's listening to this book. And then he has me pause and ask questions. So I don't know. I feel like at least for me and Noah, that is like what we utilize TV for. And that's something we connect over. I have like this family in my life who does no, no TV ever, Mm -hmm. no screens ever. Nothing's on their house. Nothing literally ever. Um, And I almost feel like it's used as like a dig when yeah. like yeah i kind of they feel that way see <laughs> that sunny's watching a movie or they see she's watching a show or whatever yeah. and it's almost just like and i guess that just drives me nuts because i don't know i yeah. it, i don't even want to go down i don't want to get yeah. myself all riled up but i just feel like if that's you great yeah. great 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 but like it doesn't make you a better it doesn't make you better. <laughs> what is that okay there's like an audio on instagram that i'm thinking of um from one of the Kardashians. <laughs> I'm sorry if you don't like them. I think they're hilarious. I just don't know. She says something about like, you don't get an award because you watch less TV. Like you, <laughs> <laughs> like, it just makes me laugh. Anyways, you don't, you don't get an award. Um, okay. Something I don't care about kids sleeping in my bed. Some yeah. people are like this age, get them out this age, get them out this age, get them out. If you follow me on Instagram, or I guess if you're on my close friends list, I posted the other night, like, Sunny and Ledger were like almost cuddling like their arms were crossed. <laughs> they're both in our That's bed. Cute. Like 99% of the time yeah. they're in our bed and Chase nor I care about it yeah. at all. Cause once again, I feel like we have enough time to invest in our marriage outside of mm. like when we're physically sleeping every night that it's not a burden on our marriage. It doesn't interfere with anything. Um, we have sex, we connect, we talk, we're together. And so I think that is like something yeah. I'll never care about. Yeah. And we've actually, both of us have toyed with the idea of getting like a bigger bed or 
two beds like a family so bed. that yeah people mm-hmm. can always be welcome honestly mm-hmm. until whenever they feel uncomfortable yeah or don't want to anymore yeah no i love that and i'm opposite we co-sleep lily's co-slept with us for 15 months but i'm ready for her to not be in my bed so mm-hmm. <laughs> but <laughs> whatever <Yeah. laughs> um wearing shoes i do not care if yeah. you wear shoes i don't care i mean pending we're going to a grocery store like don't wear the shoes i don't care um most of the time i don't wear shoes either so and my husband, when I met him, he walked into our English class wearing no shoes, holding a skateboard. And I was just like, that's really cool. And so I think he kind of just introduced that to our family. Um, next thing I don't care about, having toys. I sometimes, depending on the day, I'm either proud of this or embarrassed by it, depending on who's <laughs> coming to my house and in what situation it is. But we literally have one box of toys on our main floor. Um and I still am constantly purging and getting yeah. rid of things. I just feel like toys are so cumbersome. They're annoying. It seems like they get used a few times and then they yeah. don't care about them anymore. And pending like Ledger's one Hot Wheels car that he loves and Sunny's dolls, like they could all disappear tomorrow and nobody would care. Yeah. I genuinely keep a box of toys on the main floor for when like other kids come over. So I can <laughs> just be like, here, you know, every kid walks into a home yeah. and they're like, where's the playroom? Yeah, where's like, the toys? We don't have a playroom. We have a library room and we have a homeschool room. yeah <laughs> and we have a backyard so yeah. and sometimes honestly it prevents me from hosting play dates because i'm like i don't have like a bunch of things to offer a kid like our kid our house isn't going to be the ones that that everybody's like oh my gosh i can't wait to go like blah blah blah. i don't think that's true so sometimes that's You've hard. Got plenty of stuff that kids want to be doing yeah i'm the opposite because one of my things was i don't care about making my kid work for toys we just yeah. buy toys all the time <laughs> um like legit i'm and i'm constantly donating and finding mm-hmm. people to give things to yeah. when they grow out of them um and i don't know why that is yeah i don't have like a strong opinion about toys yeah. that you should have them or you shouldn't right. i just when we're out and noah's like i want a toy and i'm like great i just bought this 20 dollar glass bowl from the hearth and hand section yeah. why can't you have a toy <laughs> <laughs> so, i love that <laughs> which is like probably brady's like mm. least favorite trait about me yeah. but um we have lots of toys and i will say like i have um we have <laughs> And we talked about this on the episode before because I'm also a very clean person and we do have a lot of toys. So we have downstairs toys and my kids just know. Well, not Lily. Lily, we need to work on. No one knows downstairs toys are downstairs toys. The bouncy castle is down there. The animals are down there. And he has like this box of um, nostalgic toys like that he doesn't want to get rid of. Yeah. They're in the basement. And then in the playroom is like all of our preschool toys, the things I needed for the busy playing preschool, whatever. Um, So it's like the big blocks mm-hmm. the magnet tiles like the open-ended learning toys are in our yeah. school room and then we have um our most used toys are either in we have a double hutch in my entryway which i absolutely hate that piece of furniture i think it's so ugly and hideous but i'll never get rid of it because it opens up and then it's stuffed with toys mm-hmm. <laughs> and it hides the toys and then i have a giant basket behind one of my little seats um my little love seat things that's kind of hidden but things just get dumped in there and then we have two toys <laughs> <laughs> and there's like a little entryway table in my living room that's got two cute aesthetic baskets mm-hmm. and those are also filled with toys so it's like we've got a lot of toys but i also have tricks on making it look like we don't have a lot of toys if that yeah makes sense. there's great ways to do that yeah yeah and y- you know what i just had this weird epiphany about with both of us what? was that i feel like in general if you were to like meet us and kind of like personality type e- each of us like they would probably pin you as being more type a yeah just without like knowing you and i feel like i would be more of just like go with the flow blah blah blah, outside of like my job of like wedding planning but then as we're unpacking all this i'm the one that feels like i'm running this like strict (laughs) ship over at my house you know and then i feel like like, i don't know it's just kind of funny because then i feel like you're kind of like well like whatever you know which is like kind of opposite what like our personalities are in other i think you would just classify me as type a because i'm a busybody maybe you know yeah. i think i just but I'm you like moving. having a plan you don't like do. having you You're don't right. spun like spontaneity which yeah. like is my thing and yeah. like planning is really hard and overwhelming for me um so i don't know i think that's just kind of funny that is funny because we're kind of like i don't know sw- like we're just versatile human beings <laughs> um okay last one um i don't care about sugarcoating the truth with my kids. I heard someone else say this and I'm like, uh, yeah, that's yeah. How, exactly how I am. I think both of us are. And I think you can tell that from any of our episodes. Like yeah. we're, I don't think either one of us sit there and like sugarcoat Like, things. and when we say that, it's like, I'm so straight up with Sunny about like, oh, why do we have to be on guard against the devil? Because mm-hmm. he's literally seeking to kill and destroy you. Like, 
<laughs> that's why or yeah. like you know or no i had a dentist of appointment like, like you might get a shot it's probably gonna hurt is right. it gonna hurt for long no it's gonna hurt for a couple yeah. of seconds and then it's over yeah. and you get to enjoy your movie yeah. that you're gonna watch and all the mm-hmm. other things that, that's like, another example totally like why can't you why can't i run away from you in the grocery store because there's really bad people in the world <laughs> and they could take you and i could never see you again yes. like that's just you know like the example of the c-section scars like oh why yeah. do you have that scar because they literally had to cut me open to get you out yeah. you know like there's none of the like and it, and it goes even to like anatomy like that's a vagina that's mm-hmm. a penis things are very matter of fact we don't have these like petty little kid names for things it's just like this is what it is um and whether that be faith related by bio, like biology related whatever mm-hmm. i just think like the less you have to backtrack someday with your kid to say oh i know i told you this but it's actually this like the more trust you're building the more intelligent yeah. and well-rounded i feel like they become um and that's just generally who i am as a human being anyway mm-hmm. so it doesn't it's not like I'm stepping outside of my norm. I'm not that way as a human being because I'm so non-confrontational. Right. And sometimes it is uncomfortable for me, but it's like a priority. Hmm. And it's become, since I've had kids, it's become a priority to just speak what I'm feeling anyways. Yeah. Like, for example, what we just did on the floor right. before you, before yeah. we started recording. Like, yeah. that was very uncomfortable for me, but That's let me so <laughs> open my mouth right. and just say it, a yeah. truth, you know what I mean? Totally. Because, and, I, and then I feel like our hearts were exposed yeah. and then things felt better. Right. Um, and it's the same way with kids. It's like, yeah. that's how you build trust. And when we, when you said that before we were recorded, mm-hmm. I thought also, and we both kind of laughed at this one was, I don't care about having a mom, like a, a, a nice mom voice. Yes. Like if we're in public and Noah's doing something, I'm not saying oh Noah let's not do that let's not hit you Mm -hmm. know I have a voice a look and a tone of my Mm -hmm. voice where Noah like instantly perks up Mm -hmm. because he's like oh we're not messing around anymore yeah like done yeah I was (laughs) telling I was telling Amanda I shouldn't use the real name so I'll just make up a different name I'll just say Ashley (laughs) there was this girl at school today and her her kid was running into the street and she was straight up like Ashley come back yeah. Ashley and I was like girlfriend move from the, like you're about to go into the parking lot and I feel I think sometimes I do catch people off guard because like I'm all about like attachment style parenting I'm yeah. all about kindness and compassion like but those but tones of there voice comes are there for a, a reason. point when I'm like you are going to your room yeah. right now or this is happening or yeah. you're not allowed to do this or you know she runs away from me like that's a huge deal so yeah. When it comes to their safety or the safety of other children, Mm -hmm. I feel like my mom voice, I'll call it my mom voice, my my stern voice, whatever, is definitely like more present since we've had Lily because it's like Noah. (laughs) Right. Because they can hurt the baby. Yes. What you're doing right now is not safe. Yeah. And yeah, so we've had, there's been much firmer boundaries since Lily's been able to move for sure. But yeah, that made me think of it like sugarcoating and it's like, yeah, Uh if I'm out in public, I'm not going to change the way I talk to you. And I'm definitely not talking to you like that at home. Right. That's annoying. Yeah. So. <laughs> I love that so much. This was fun. Yeah. It was. Did you think of any other random ones as we were talking? No, I didn't. No. Well, if you guys want to leave any comments, <laughs> we can start a discussion on that. Um, but yeah, um, it's it's pretty fun. Okay. It's pretty fun. Well, we will see you next week. Um, we're actually going to record another episode right now. So, But right you'll now. see us next week. <laughs> Did we post one this week? I'm posting it. Because I'm, I don't want to record on the weekends anymore. Remember? Okay, so, so we're we have three, yeah, three stocked. I'm, so rec- yeah, yeah, perfect. Yeah, yeah. Just, you'll hear from us. Yes, don't we're, worry. We're figuring it yes. out. Yes, <laughs> starting from last week, you will get an episode every week, barring an emergency. Yeah, perfect. Perfect. That All sounds right. great. See you next week. Bye.